Here is a corridor along with a vertical and horizontal alignment. This video shows how to create roadway sections and how to fill in associated dialog boxes. Before continuing on with the sections, make sure that most of the editing on the horizontal and vertical alignment is done. However, after looking at sections and volumes, alignment editing may still be required to make the project practical. Begin by selecting Sample Lines button. The command line prompts for an alignment. It's easier to press Enter and select the alignment from the dialog box. Select the proposed roadway, then click OK. Name the sample line group Roadway. All the default settings here will be OK. So click OK. With the sample line tools displayed, Pull down the sample line creation method. And select by range of station. The station range defaults are from the beginning to the end of the project, which works for this project. Section width will be 50 foot to the left and right of the center line. The project may limit a right-of-way to a 100-foot width, which could present problems for 2 to 1 cut and fill slopes. The defaults on sampling increments of 50 feet will be fine for this project. But the additional sample controls need to be set to true. Click OK. This will be good sampling of the corridor sections. So press Enter to begin processing. Civil 3D inserts all the information for section lines on the corridor, making it a little bit cluttered. Go to the tool space to see what happened over there. Expand alignments, centerline alignment, proposed roadway. And sample line groups. Select roadway. Select sample lines to see the list of sections below. There is a lot of information here, but it doesn't need to be displayed on the corridor. Since Civil 3D uses dynamic text, go to the scale annotation currently set to 1 inch equals 1,000 feet and change it to 1 inch equals 200 feet. C3D will automatically resize the text to fit this new scale setting. 
The advantages of having dynamic text is clearer when sheets are created for plotting. Zoom in and click on one of the section stations to highlight the entire collection. Now select the Edit Label Group or right click to display the menu and select Edit Sample Line Labels in Group. Click on the tag to display the selection box. Click the arrow down to see the default and is Edit Current Selection. Click it. Here is the label Style Composer for sections. There is information general settings, layout settings, drag state options, and summary to help with drawing clarity. Return to the general tab and change the label visibility to false. Click OK and OK here then click apply and then OK. Given the length of the project limit sections to the segment that includes straight away and a curve. This project shows the super elevation transitions between stations 200 to 240. To insert sections, click Section Views, select Create Multiple Views, first set the station range, click Next. Click the draft button, then edit the group plot style. Setting on the array tab, control section layout and spacing. Look through the other tabs to see other section settings, but don't change them now. Click OK, then click Next, accept the defaults here, click Next, review the defaults here, then click Next. Click Next, now click Create Section Views. Sections will be inserted from the lower left corner upward and to the right. So provide plenty of room to prevent overlap. Zoom to one of the sections. Notice the labels are too big. Change the scale to 1 inch equals 20 feet. Notice changes to the entire model because the dynamic text automatically rescales. Zoom to a section. The labels are much clearer. 
The sections look better, but they are too far apart. Reinserting the sections at a new scale will take care of this. Select all the sections and delete them by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Try inserting the sections again. The sections are grouped closer together because they are inserted for a 1 inch equals 20 foot scale. Zoom into a section. There is no information on these sections because C3D lost synchronization with the sample information. So delete these sections as well. Resample the corridor. Notice the previous settings are still current. Here, delete the existing list and overwrite everything. Press enter. It takes a while to process the information. Reinsert the section views. Zoom in to verify that the sections look reasonable. These sections are linked again to the sample data. So this is the way that we handle reinserting sections. Now changing the scale back to 1 inch equals 200 feet creates the same problem with the sections. but the plan and profile are clear. This is a good time to save the project.